let's step back and talk about the electronics value chain the you know uh, you know we all carry phones it will be interesting if you can please explain how does the phone get to us and what are all the different steps that the electronics in the phone goes through yeah so that's a really good example because the uh, the chip design may be done by a company like apple for example they would know what the functions of the phone need to be and but they don't manufacture the chips they end up going to tsmc or intel or some other uh, factory so that's the chip and then the printed circuit board that everything sits but on in the middle there's also the the chip gets made on a fabrication line and then gets packaged yes so uh, so to package the chip it's not one chip it's many chips in the phone and the manufacturers will be multiple companies they won't all be made by the same company so someone has to uh, a team has to look at integrating all these things so the phone functions the way the apple designer wants it to function so that team gets together then they bring in a company that will build the carrier that carries all the chips that's typically like a uh, printed circuit board but before that the wafer that comes off the the fabricate the silicon fabrication line um, is it usually the same company that does the packaging of that chip into a, a packaging of the wafer into a chip that goes onto a printed circuit board or are they two different yeah uh, that's that's an excellent question actually so they are not i mean typically the chip manufacturer just makes the chips and then somebody else would do the packaging so other companies like uh, there's a company called ASC which is the biggest packaging company today they think of themselves as an assembly company so they work with a designer maybe apple for example and then they uh, they look at all the components that are going to go into the phone they'll see which what uh, access they have to all these components and then they partner with companies that have the components they plan every the whole layout of course with supervision from apple and other customers and then the the phone gets assembled after that the chip manufacturer doesn't get involved in those steps i mean they they will say here are the requirements for the chip it has to be at this temperature it cannot exceed this it cannot see any mechanical stress so all these requirements are well defined a priori before the um, assembly house starts assembling so india is making a concerted effort to get into the semiconductor uh ecosystem um there is an effort to set up a fabrication plant uh, somewhere near guwahati tatas have made a commitment but there are other industry houses that are uh, setting up manufacturing operations where they would just buy the wafers the etched wafers from say a tsmc yeah. but complete the packaging process yes. what sort of career opportunities does this part of the value chain bring to the fore for young men and women out there actually i mean that's my whole career so the what i did for a living my whole career is essentially packaging i knew what the chip requirements are but i really didn't know anything about chip manufacturing and i had, my primary concern was delivering thermal solutions but you can't deliver a thermal solution without knowing what the thermomechanical stresses are and what the chip can tolerate so we have to couple with the people who do design and worry about thermomechanical stress and you can't worry about it without knowing what the yields will be for each uh, step of the assembly uh, what the defects will be what uh, the final cost will be so it really has to be a highly integrated team that does the packaging ASC is a major uh, company and that's all they do they don't make chips they only assemble good so that gives us an overview of uh, the value the ecosystem in which these solutions go in